listen, it is imperative that we do background checks on people before you get into a relationship with them. I am so serious because I'm sitting here looking at the news and we have seen it time and time again where it happened where you get involved with somebody and then when they get arrested, you find out they don't have a lengthy uh, background or, you know, have some stuff on their background that, that you really need to know about to know who you're dealing with, you know. Um, me personally, I, I'd rather do, I, that's why I asked their first and last name. And a lot of times they like a lot of you about their name too. So I will ask for their ID. Let me see your ID. So I know your name is what you said is for real. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have a problem with showing you mine on. Now, do I have to show you my address? No. But I do want to know your name for real. But I'm sitting up here looking at the news and this girl named Shakira in Florida. Um, she, 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 I think she's from Winter Park. But anyway, she was last seen with her husband on the 11th of November. So they was um, looking for her. They've been looking for her. So they, um, I think the last time they seen her was in, I want to say, Polk County. Maybe, I think Davenport. Somewhere up in there. Anyway, they last seen her that, that Friday. Um, and she was with her husband. So, in the mix of all of that, he went and, you know what I'm saying, went to the, ex, the ex-girlfriend house, which had injunction on him too as well. I didn't know that. Well, from my understanding, he was still involved with her. But he went over there and, you know, fired off in her house. And she hid in the closet from him. So, he got arrested for that. Not because of the, the, the disappearance of his wife. So... They just find the wife in the storage unit last night. Well, yesterday. They found her in the storage unit yesterday. Somehow they got a tip. They found out, I think, that he had a storage unit. But anyway, they went. To, they found her in the storage unit in a praying position. So, it's just sad to hear that, too. And I think she had four kids. But anyway, he's not doing no talking about it. He's just being quiet. Of course, that's to be expected. Um. So, as I'm saying, but he hadn't been, he hadn't been arrested for 20 years. For the, because he on the live so at the end of the day y'all we have to really do background checks on these people we don't know who we're dealing with and the first time you see you really 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 need to if they showing any sign of domestic because that's what i went through and i'm talking about mental you know what i'm saying anything domestic is, is domestic but you got to pay attention to people and you got to listen to their stories you got to read between the lines you know what i'm saying if this person is a disturbed person and they talking kind of reckless a little bit when you first meet them, man, leave them alone. I'm so serious. Like, I don't want to end up in a position like this. Yes, I ended up with my house on fire. I did. You know, and thank God I was not home because they no telling what he would have did. If he if he broke the burglar balls on a house and had blood everywhere from where, where you cut your own self up, something wrong with you. You delusional. So, but I knew to get away from him. That night before, I knew that it was time for me to get away from him. I just know that he was just who he is and he was real real you know off or whatever but he had done did stuff prior to that so um i just ain't want i just ain't want to round no more but at the end of the day i thank god that i was not home when all that happened because you know if you set somebody house on fire ain't no telling what else you might do but i did i, I didn't do a background check he told me little stuff or whatever and i should have just paid attention to the little story that he told me i should have paid attention to all of that Cause see, family members ain't gonna sit down. Some you got one or two family members that might sit down and tell you little stuff about these people if they really genuine, and they they you know they want to give you up on give you game on how this person might be. But ninety five percent of the time, family members ain't gonna tell you that this person is 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 not right bright up there. They deal with they deal with their own mental illness because I feel like if you do something like that, it's something going on mentally. So you got to understand that people is not gonna family members ain't gonna sit up there and tell you what's really going on with this person see that's why I ex that's why I, I like the that's that's the only thing about scary about talking to somebody from out of town not from your same city because you can't ask nobody about this person you can't ask this person nobody about what this person history is you know what i'm saying so that's the only scary part about that but me i pay attention to everything especially especially after i met that ex that that, that crazy husband the ex-husband you know what I'm saying or whatever. I, I just pay attention to everything, and I'm really I just I just don't play with that type of stuff. But please get their names, get their names, and do a background check on them. At least you'll know somewhat of what you're dealing with, and maybe you can save yourself and your kids 
from going through what these people is going through right now. My heart goes out to them. My heart goes out to them. I don't know why people think they could just, you know, do, you know, off people. What what make you think? What what what? Why do you think you have that right? You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, yeah, y'all. But it's, this video really was about. Please do a background check on these people that you are dealing with. Please, I'm just saying. Please just do. It. If you don't do nothing else, please do a background check. I'm talking to myself as well. I ain't no different, boo. All right, that's all I want to say. And have a blessed Sunday, okay, y'all. And don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. A lot of times, people be a wolf in sheep clothing. Okay? You 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 don't really know who they is anyway. Sometimes they might not even have a background. They might not even been ever been arrested. But you really got to pay attention to the signs. You you can know the signs of a person. That's, a lot of times, a person that's dealing with is mental up there a little bit. And dealing with things or uh, uh, something, you got to pay attention to their movement. You have to really, really pay attention. And if you got to pray and ask God for discernment, and you pray and ask God to show you about this person, oh, he'll show you. So when you get when you thank something about a person 95% of the time, when you feel it, when you feel it, it's mostly true. So pay attention. Pay attention to everything, even when you get your little feelings about a person. Pay attention. Okay, pay attention. I don't care if you got to get you, get, you, get you a phone that you, a throwaway phone, and, and keep it somewhere hidden just in case when you, when you get that sign. Because, see, they, they, gonna, they destroy one phone. See, they quit destroy your phone so you can't get in contact with nobody. Keep your a little throwaway phone if you know that you're dealing with somebody. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that might be have something going on mentally. You really have to pay attention to the signs. Like, they going to show themselves. A, z a zebra can sh um, change the location but never its stripes. A person going a person going to show who they is eventually. And at some time, I have seen where people could be with somebody for 10 years. 10, 20 years. And they don't, you would never think that they were that type of way. You would never think that. So, you know, you just have to really pray. But listen, I'm just saying, pay attention to the signs. It seems like it's just so often that it's happening to people now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just seeing it more and more where people are unaliving people because of their own stuff that they got going on. It's just sad. It's just sad. Y'all, I'm just saying, stay prayed up. Be careful. All people ain't good people. All people is not good people. It's a lot of wolf and sheep clothing. A lot. And this go for male and female. You got some women out here that's a, that's a little delusional, honey. It ain't just men. It ain't just men. Women have backgrounds, too. Everybody got a history. Everybody got a past. Everybody don't change, but many do. I believe anybody could change if they want to. Some people don't want change. And it might be hard for somebody. Everybody ain't the same. Period, point blank. Don't let that fly over your head, boo. Stay woke. Pay attention. Be blessed.